Welcome to Making Cancer History. I'm Jason Rivers, Clinical Professor of Dermatology at the University of British Columbia and private practitioner. I've been undertaking research on skin cancer and prevention methods for more than 20 years. Protecting children and young people from excess ultraviolet radiation is particularly important. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer in Canada. In 2008, about 73,000 Canadians were diagnosed with non-melanoma skin cancer and another 4,600 Canadians with malignant melanoma. Non-melanoma skin cancer is a malignant growth of the outside surface of the skin that is rarely fatal. On the other hand, melanoma can be a very aggressive type of skin cancer that may spread to other areas of the body if it goes undetected and is not treated early. Prevention is crucial to avoiding skin cancer. If caught in the early stages, melanoma cases are highly curable, although it's better to prevent melanoma from occurring in the first place. The Canadian Cancer Society is rightfully concerned about children and youth being exposed to harmful ultraviolet radiation. Evidence shows us that exposure to ultraviolet radiation in childhood can increase the risk of skin cancer later in life. Blistering sunburns at a young age have been identified as a risk factor for melanoma. Information from national surveys on sun exposure and protective behaviors tell us that some of the highest levels of sun exposure were among children under the age of 12 years old. We need to target this group for prevention strategies. It's time to get the message across that overexposure to ultraviolet radiation is the major cause of skin cancer. Parents need to teach their children from an early age about the dangers of UV radiation. They can do this by reducing exposure to the sun between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., wearing protective clothing, using sunscreen with adequate UVA and UVB protection, and staying in the shade. Teenagers need to know that artificial tanning is equally dangerous. Tanning beds and tanning lamps are giving teens a false sense of security. Some people think it's a healthy way to avoid sunburn and skin cancer. It's like saying you should smoke to prevent lung cancer. Although organizations like the Canadian Cancer Society are educating the public about the dangers of overexposure to the sun and indoor tanning, more needs to be done. We need legislation banning those under the age of 18 from using artificial tanning equipment, as recommended by the World Health Organization. As long as tanning beds are available to the public, there's a need for strict guidelines or legislation to reduce the risks associated with their use. Self-regulation by industry has not worked. We also need the BC government to commit to implementing minimum standards for adequate shade, whether natural or constructed, to protect children in all child care facilities and schools in British Columbia. While researchers continue to look for better treatments for melanoma, let's work on prevention. Be safe. Avoid tanning beds, cover up, find shade, and slather on sunscreen. And if you're at risk because of a family history of skin cancer, have your skin checked at least once a year. Let's live without skin cancer.